What's up, creative people? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jay Wells. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos with anybody you think may love creative content. That's why you're here. So make sure you hit the bell so you can be notified anytime we upload a video. But anyway, get that out of the way. In today's video, I want to discuss NFT artwork. Yes, NFT artwork. Now, it's very popular right now. It's probably on all your social networks. You see it online when you're Googling and just looking up different things, especially when you're doing research on cryptocurrency. The thing about NFTs, if you're not familiar, they stand for non-fungible tokens. Now, this has made a big break into the digital art world. So NFT artwork gives me a chance to explain some stories, show you some views of artwork that I created from photography and also videography. My whole process was just be original be original be original so what i did here is since i fell in love with photography when i was a very young kid i wanted to start the story from there so whoever invested in my nft artwork they can have a piece of the story as it progresses Ooh, and i look at it as a piece that you will love to go back and say at this time this guy this story this artwork represents i want you to always be able to put a story to my work so what i did was i took a simple logo of an urban kid a kid with just his camera, and I started the story right there. So I turned it into a 3D object. When I turned it into a 3D object, I made subtle digital movements just to, to give you the illusion of a movement or of motion inside the image. What that does is it just gives you the idea that this kid is just getting started. I'm doing research, I'm looking up reviews, I'm looking up other artists that dabbled into it or had good experiences, bad experiences. I'm taking all information at this point. Shot. That's just my advice if you're just starting out and you're giving it a shot make sure you do enough research to know how to operate through this process as well it's just as important if not more important than actually uploading your first nft so do all the groundwork first find out about cryptocurrency wallets pick the one that's right for you and find out the limitations or everything you are able to do with that wallet so i went with coinbase this video is not promoted by them in any way. I went with Coinbase because I can use it on the mobile. I can also get on my laptops. I can also check up on everything and see how my cryptocurrency is faring out there. See if I need to move, see if I need to invest and also create more NFTs and I can monitor them that way. And it's in a folder called collectibles. So Coinbase was the one for me when I got the piece done and I felt like it was ready to be provided to the public. I seen OpenSea and I seen Rarible two great companies, both working in an NFT marketplace, and I wanted to know which one would be best for me just starting out. When it comes to digital art, who am I? So I wanted to make sure I provided a storyline. So my first piece, my first NFT was titled Urban Memories. I uploaded my first piece to Rarible. I started building my profile and getting everything verified that I could, and I proceed to upload my NFT. When I go to upload my NFT, it asks you, it first verifies what you're uploading, then it takes its gas fees and its mining fees. It's, it's a lot of fees with cryptocurrency that you have to understand. Again, do your research because these prices go up and these prices go down. Like it's great days to um, put your NFT on the market because sometimes the gas fees are very low. And then it's like horrible days when you really want to put your artwork up and the, and the gas prices are extremely high. So you have to do your research, pay attention to the blockchains and everything like that. And there's programs and websites out there that can help you along the way. Do your research. <laughs> Boom. It goes up, the price is set, I'm excited. And I think to myself, this is the beginning of something special because I, I thought I was good until I tried to find myself online. So now I'm being contacted by someone that wants to purchase it. Someone wants to have the first ever piece that Jay Wells put as an NFT online. So this is amazing, it's a, it's a big moment for me. I'm excited all because I'm jumping into something new and I actually have a sale here. Well, this person spent over $160 on gas fees and transfer and all these fees and never got it. 
I said, never got it. So now I'm like, what is going on? I have no way to support, no way to back up and say, this is what you do. I have no way to solve this problem. What was happening was I was a new artist and I had no following. So I wasn't falling pretty high on the homepage or, you know, in the marketplace. Like maybe when I first uploaded it, probably shot through there. But if you refreshed a few times, I was gone. Started an open C. I built the page there. I did this. I did that. I did everything open C as exactly what I did for Rarible as well. So now I have a whole profile and I go to upload the same NFT to open C to see if that will release it so this person can get it. And I wind up spending over a hundred and seven dollars in gas fees and mining fees and nothing happened. I st it, when I would go back to my product and my and my collectibles on OpenSea, it would show me that I still could upload it. And I'm like, wait a minute here. I just spent over $107 in mining and gas fees and all the other fees that come with that. And I have no artwork on the page. You mean to tell me you just took the gas? So it was a lot that I didn't understand. It's very critical to understand small information about cryptocurrency, especially when you're getting into the NFT artwork and everything like that. So I wanted to say that to all artists out there. If you're thinking about doing it, make sure you do a lot of thorough backup information searches to make sure that you have yourself covered to learn or to always have a line to get answers to your questions, especially for your clients, because it's a very different world in the uh, Ethereum and the, the rareables and the open sea and different, you know, um, cryptocurrency world. It's like a lot of small detail that you need to understand. So make sure you check into that before pressing go on anything. And I emailed someone from OpenSea. You know, I get a response email maybe like two days later saying, hey, sorry, we see your email, boom, boom, boom. Put this in the email, put that in the email. It's like IDs towards your artwork and then we'll check it out, see what's going on. I do what they ask, I send. I hear nothing back from them. I'm checking, I'm refreshing, everything's still the same. I can't do anything. This person that wants to buy this first NFT is just like, probably at this point, I'm thinking they're fed up with everything because it's just like you're spending your, your cryptocurrency and not getting anything for it. So I'm feeling like it's my fault. Long story short, maybe a week go past and a, or a little longer and I get an email saying, hey, you know, try to log in and go through the process one more time. Uh, we're sorry for the inconvenience. It was very polite. It was very informative. And they had other email links that I could have hit. It, it was very on point. I just wish it was faster. And it was a small gas fee. This time it was a teeny gas fee. It just told me it was like processing and it was like an hour or something. And I'm getting discouraged again. And I'm just like, here we go. Come on. Come on. So I'm sitting there and I'm worried and I'm, I look at my wife and she see the frustration on my face and I'm like, I just need to leave this alone. I don't know what's going on. Da, 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 da. So I X'd out of the screen, log back in and voila, poof, my NFT was live on OpenSea. My NFT was live on OpenSea. The process went through. The first NFT was purchased. I got a congratulations email. So. Hang in there. If you in that, if you at that point, hang in there. It will pay off. Um, and then from there, it's just marketing and making sure you're letting people know where to check out your artwork at and sharing links and finding out how to attach things and share when you post. It automatically does things. Like make sure you do all of that as well because especially when you're a new up and coming artist or just starting out, no one's searching for you. So you you can't just hope that you come up on the screen with all the the great stuff and the people that has followings and millions of followers from social media or websites. Like you can't expect for your artwork to just sit on a page with those people already just because you're uploading. So have that, have that knowledge and be honest with yourself and make sure you do your part by marketing on social media, marketing on your website if you have one, making sure you send people the links. Hey man, check out my NFT work. Yeah, if you're not familiar, this is a little bit of information about it but check out what I created and this is how I did it. And I did these things with social media and didn't get a real big feedback, but it got across to the person that needed to have it. And now they have it. So I just wanted to get on here and share it. It was a lengthy video. Hopefully you guys hung in there. Thanks for stopping past. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below. Share this video with people that got questions about NFTs and maybe a little on the fence with going forward with it. Or if you just wanna share a creative video to other creatives that love creative content. So I'm Jay Wells. Thanks for stopping past. Make sure you create something every day and we see you on the other side.
which is the next video. I'll see y'all.